it started with, I came across this article about the first time farm executives had done uh, jail time and received felony criminal convictions. So it seemed like this was maybe an interesting harbinger of where things might go. But what really distinguished it is it wasn't a story about addiction. It was a story about how even now in the contemporary times, while the risks of opioids are widely known, doctors are being bribed to write these prescriptions. And it was really outrageous. You know, we bill on a full dose script. What? 40 grand. A year? A month. You want to honor the victims. Obviously, you want to treat the fact that you're dealing with a crisis that is well acknowledged, it's well known. And we, very, very early on in our process, decided we wanted to make a movie that was inclusive, enjoyable, subversive, a little bit naughty, something that would bring a crowd in. And the reason we wanted to take that slightly more subversive tone was we wanted to get the message across in a way that felt accessible and easily digestible. So it was a bit of a tightrope walk in the sense that when you bring humor to a story that is obviously fraught with some sort of pretty horrific details, um, you have to be very, very careful. And so we sort of built it really around a parable, an American parable of ambition and greed and corporate access and something that would allow an audience to kind of hopefully invest themselves in that story via the character of Liza Drake. I will not give up on myself. Emily uh, read the script, absolutely loved it. Loved the idea of playing a woman who is morally compromised and made some um, slightly shady decisions to achieve what she wanted to achieve. She said to, to uh, both of us a few times, I'm sick of seeing women cast in big Hollywood movies who always have to be the good mother or the good sister. It's so refreshing to approach a character that has some capacity to do the wrong thing as well as the right thing. With Chris Evans, you know, Chris has made some interesting choices in the last three or four years, but we all, you know, he's often sort of remembered for his Captain America, iconic, sort of playing the pure good guy. So there was no better version of a sleazy farmer <laughs> than casting Captain America and upending everyone's perception of him and giving him a really sleazy farmer rep role. Um, and Andy Garcia, because he just wanted to come to work and riff completely on that character and create something in the moment in front of all our eyes. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh. Which was perfect Which for was a movie perfect that's for a, subversive, right? Which is subversive. Everyone's playing classical music and Andy's playing Andy's jazz. Andy's doing jazz. <laughs> hey, get the shoes off! Get your shoes off!